very well. Okay, geometers. We have looked at triangles and looked at triangles and looked at triangles, and now it is time to expand our horizons and look at quadrilaterals. Now, when we talk about quadrilateral A, B, C, D, uh, and this shape for my friends who LaTeX is backslash box, when we talk about quadrilateral A, B, C, D, uh, we mean that that is segment AB, union segment BC, union segment CD, union segment DA, where no two of those segments cross anywhere except at an endpoint. That's the key. ABCD is a quadrilateral if those four segments can be drawn and no two of those segments cross except at an endpoint. That's the idea. Um, I will note that the order matters because if the points A, B, C, and D are these four points, then quadrilateral A, B, C, D looks like this. Uh, quadrilateral A, C, B, D looks like this. So it's not just that we have four points in the plane. Uh, the order in which we connect them matters. Uh, I will note that both the blue quadrilateral and the red quadrilateral are what we call non-convex quadrilaterals. So uh, we talk about the angle sum of a quadrilateral uh, but only for convex quadrilaterals. Uh, the blue quadrilateral has what my geometry teacher would have called a reflex angle, an angle whose measure is greater than 180. Uh, and similarly for the red quadrilateral. So we talk about the angle sums of quadrilaterals, but only convex quadrilaterals. So uh, opposite sides of quadrilaterals, A, B, and C, D are called opposite sides. B, C, and A, D are called opposite sides uh, in quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Uh, those are all vocabulary that you should be familiar with from your previous work. Um, some results worth thinking about. We'll go to the results in a different video. Uh, it is important for us to, to put in this one what quadrilaterals are and what they are not. So that's a big key. Uh, we'll deal with convex quadrilaterals and some properties of them in another video.